Hi guys, welcome back to another Fallout 76 video. Now this is just a short tip video for some of the questions that constantly get asked in every build video that I do. It's going to cover blueprints, build budget, where I actually build my base, how to get metal walls, etc, etc. Now if you haven't already, please make sure you join the Discord, the link is below. We've got a ton of people in there just now, all helping each other out, trading plans, guns, helping each other with locations and quests. Now the very first thing I want to cover is build budget. Now a lot of people ask how I manage to build bases so big. Well basically I manage my build budget very well. Your stored items as you can see will have items in there that actually add to your build budget. Now if you start watching the budget line now, as I start to scrap these items the budget will go down. So it's key that you make sure that you do not have excess items stored away because that will affect your base builds dramatically. So it's always key to make sure that your stored items, if you're not using them, if you don't need them, just scrap them. Don't hold excess stuff in there. It will just tie you down and you won't be able to build what you want. Next, I want to speak about blueprints. Now, if you don't know what blueprints are in your camp, this is the way of saving a structure that you build, meaning you can drop it anywhere on the map. Now, as you can see, I have bases that I've already built. Some you've actually seen the videos for, some you haven't yet. I blueprint them so I can go back to them and modify them so from halfway through a project I can just stop it, save it and go back to it at a later date. Now to do this you go to the modify, if you're using Xbox you just press um, B, PC I'm not quite sure, I actually play in PC but I don't use the keyboard and mouse because it's quite hard to build with it in my opinion. Literally all you'll do, watch the taskbar at the bottom and it will say blueprint. You'll hold that key, sometimes it jumps and tries and moves it then you can literally just from there, when it goes white, take the whole structure. Easy as that. Now, if you've got other things outside of the structure, hence why I've got all these things set up so I can show you, you can then just click these and add them to it as well. It's very straightforward and very simple. Now, you have to make sure you get everything added to this, otherwise it just won't work. So you'll lose items and they'll go back to your stored items when it happens. All you do then is save, press X if you're using a controller, I'll just put this as test for now. Do that and now when you go to your blueprints you'll see that is actually in place what we've just saved. Now it will come up in a funny shape or not exactly how you put it, that's fine. All you have to do is step back, move, rotate it, get it how you wanted it and just set it back down. Now this is super useful if you've got a really good camp, you want to move location but you don't want to rebuild. Just blueprint it, save it Head up there, drop your camp, and that is you done. Now, moving on to doors. Not a lot of people actually realise you have to lock your door. Now, I know there's not a lot of point to it at the minute because players can't really do a lot. They can't see in your stash, but in later game, this might become more important. You can put a lock on there, but people can lock pick it. The highest level is free, but make sure you do it. Get into the habit of doing it now because, as I said, in time, this may become more important. Just something you should really do. As you can see now, it's showing that that door is now locked. Very quick and simple, but a lot of people don't actually realise we run past a lot of bases, we go inside them because they just don't know you're supposed to lock the door. Now, a lot of new players are still struggling with the floors. They don't realise you have to have stairs in place and work off of the stairs with your flooring. Now, it is annoying, it isn't really the best way of doing it. People are using roofs instead and then they can't build up any higher. Now, you can see here, I can't put a floor on this door frame. I can't do it at all. That's because I need to do it off the stairs. Now a lot of new players don't realise this and they're just putting the roofs in instead. Now, after the first one's in, you can work off of that floor and build all the way around and just encapsulate that floor. Now, to remove this, you have to go back in the exact same fashion. So you can't start with the one at the stairs and you can't remove the stairs until the last floor is gone. See, you can't take this away. Won't let you take it. So you have to start from the very last one and work your way back. I say a lot of new players are struggling with this, especially when one of the builds are done, that they were getting a bit confused. It isn't the best way of doing it, however, it's how we have to work with it. Now you can actually remove the stairs as well. So with this, make sure you put your stairs in first. Now, as some of you may have noticed in the last video, I did actually show the location for this, and I'll show it again in a minute, where to get the garage door. Now, one thing to note for this, you need to power it. Ideally you need a switch, but there is a workaround if you're going to use it internally so you don't have to use a switch. Now, put the generator, wire it up, and it will open it all the time. 
If it's inside your base or you're doing a trader post, this is fine. However, if you want it as a normal door, you will need to find the switch to get around this. All you have to do is remove the generator itself and it will close the door again. It's a bit of a workaround, but it's just something you can do in the time being until you can find that switch. I haven't found it yet. It's something I'm looking for. If you do have it and you want to trade it, please join Discord. Let me know. I'll definitely trade it with you for something that I have. Now, the location for this is quite easy. This is a plan that is found in this location. You can find it quite easily here. Don't worry. It's always there. Just respawn the server if you have to. And you'll be able to find it on the floor in this location. It's just here. Now, as I said, if it isn't there it's first, just come at the server, then go back in and you'll definitely find it. Now the garage door is very useful for a lot of things. Now if you're doing a trader post etc, you can have it as an open door so people can come in and check or if it's in your main base, you've got a couple of people running around in there, it just opens the space up for you. And lastly, the biggest question I get asked is where do I manage to get the plans for everything? Now, the metal walls, you literally get the plans quite easily by doing the quest lines and taking over workbenches. Taking over workbenches always gives you a plan, so it's beneficial if you're running past, you have the caps, take a workbench over. Now, the brick walls, I actually purchased them. Now, I struggled to find a plan for them by doing all that, so I bought it from this location here. Now, it took me quite a while to get there, of course, 420 caps, there's a vendor just outside the main walled town, you can go there and that's where you'll get them. Now, a lot of people also ask, where do I actually build? This is the location that I build all my bases at, this is the cliffside, it's just east of Vault 76 and north of the lighthouse. So guys, that is it for today. These are very quick tips answering all the questions that I keep getting asked in the comment section. Now, I thought it would be easier just to show people exactly how to do it than try to explain it because it's, I just feel it's a lot easier to visually show how it's done. I'll do more of these as and when I get more things in the actual game that are building related. So guys, thanks for stopping by and I'll catch you in the next one.